Hello YouTube, this is my uh, Springfield Armory 1911 as you can see and uh, today I'll be probably trying to fix two issues with it uh, myself and on the third one I'm going to be um, I'm still um, trying to figure out what I want to do whether I want to go through a gunsmith or Springfield Armory or just fix it myself so first and foremost gun is clear nothing in the magazine saw that already so anyway two issues first issue you see on my hand on the webbing uh, basically I shot about 200 rounds through this gun and uh, and because of how the grip safety is made it, it took a little bit of skin off after a while um, so the reason being is that a burr was left on this side of the grip safety when it was filed this way or sanded this way there's a little burr and you can hear it when I use my nail hear it um, that burr is what got me and so what I'm going to be doing is just sanding lightly to remove uh, the sharpness on this edge uh, right here and I might as well just do this side as well um, so that's the first issue I'm going to be fixing in this video second issue is my idiot scratch because I am an idiot and as many new 1911 owners uh, when reassembling my gun I uh, wasn't careful enough and uh, and turned my uh, slide release into position while allowing it to just ride the frame and uh, you know scratched my gun hopefully and because it's stainless and uh, and because it's not polished on the sides it's I don't know maybe maybe you call it polished uh, I think it's 320 tops uh, I'd say probably 280 closer to 280 um, so what I'm going to be trying to do is uh, is kind of sand that area down uh, to remove the scratch but uh, the most important thing obviously will be to uh, to leave the the sanding uh, finish to match uh, what's what's already here on the slide and sides of the frame so these are the two issues I'm going to be fixing. Another issue that I haven't decided on yet, I'm going to rest my gun like that so that you can tell, is uh, my staked in front sight is coming loose and it's an issue that I know many of the uh, owners of 1911s are having when they have staked in sights. So I haven't decided if I'm going to buy a tool and do it myself or send it to Springfield Armory or um, or um, take it to a gunsmith, which is another option. So <clears throat> this will be covered in part two of this video about my 1911. These two issues I'm going to try to address right now. So stay tuned. Okay. So I'll be using this little uh, file and uh, 220 grit sandpaper and I'll just put it over the file like that so I, had, I can I'm only going to be using this little edge um, on the frame and uh, you can see the uh, the sanding mark or I guess the grain you can call it uh, but it was sanded lengthwise so I'm gonna sand only lengthwise when doing this never going any other way but lengthwise I'm going very lightly And I'm going to rip 
reposition sandpaper right here to have a clean uh, clean edge again and repeat the same thing Well, can't see the scratch anymore. That's for sure. I'm just trying to see if uh, if my sanding matches, and it seems like it does. I can't tell. Uh, maybe when I watch this video in uh, higher resolution, I'll be able to tell the difference. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to tell now <clears throat> if I did something that changes the surface quality so anyway um, that is done now using the same process what I'll probably do is start with 220 <clears throat> again same thing only now instead of using that little edge I'm actually going to be using the surface of the file uh, covered with sandpaper obviously but uh, that's what I'm going to be doing. Just smoothing this edge out very lightly. What I'm going to do probably is round it a little bit. Sounds or feels a lot better now. that now we're going to use the other side that's not really touched yet so <clears throat> that's just sandpaper I'm talking I'm talking about so clean sandpaper side and uh, this side was the was the worst on the gun on the uh, safety This will definitely be an improvement. Okay. Just use a little patch just to kind of clean. 
clean this up. I am going to give the gun a proper cleaning after this, obviously, to get all the sanding, um, sand dust and, and, uh, no, I guess anything that would get into the internals. Um, obviously, I'm going to clean it out. I'm just trying to see if the burr is gone. Um, I don't know if you can tell, uh, there isn't a whole lot of, uh, a whole lot of change, which is what I was looking for. I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to alter this, uh, grip safety in any way, uh, except to kind of finish the work that hasn't been finished on it. So, yeah, very light sanding just to get rid of the burr and, uh, now it should be okay. I'm, I'm kind of feeling a little bit of this on the back side. So I'm going to keep working on, on that until I'm perfectly satisfied. And then, uh, and then basically figure out what I want to do with the uh, front sight. So for now, you can see the scratch, the idiot scratch is gone and uh, and the grip safety is underway so maybe a little bit more sending and uh, and then I'll call it quits and it should be okay shouldn't uh, shouldn't rub my skin off anymore so hopefully it will help you address your similar issues uh, if you have a similar gun, of course on a blued steel gun I wouldn't, uh, or parkerized finish, I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing the same thing unless you can uh, kind of refinish the entire frame but uh, since it's stainless it's pretty easy I guess I'm lucky uh, in that respect still doesn't, uh, still doesn't kind of justify putting that scratch uh, on the gun in the first place. So just be very careful when you reassemble your 1911 not to put it in. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, see you next time.